Hello, uh, viewers, and welcome back, or welcome now, I suppose, to my new walkthrough <laughs> of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds. We're about to start that uh, DLC I mentioned back in my walkthrough of uh, the main game, Horizon Zero Dawn. I said I'd get around to it. Uh, it's about a week and a, just over a week now since I, I started, well, I finished the, uh, the main game. Um, now, since uh, so in that sort of week or so I was away, I, get up, I kind of, uh, well, I kind of, I kind of tied up more loose ends, you could say, um, of the game, and actually did the rest of the game. What what was left of the game, I kind of went through and uh, did the whole whole shebang. You know, the hundred percent completion of it. I'll just show you. Um, I went. Uh, hold on, where is it? Um, as you can see, I've got all the all the levels now. Um, I filled out got all the level, all the uh, skills, and I'm up to maximum level fifty now. So I got that. I did, you know. Um, I got all the uh, all these sort of things there scanned. All twenty six, I think it is it. Twenty six of these beasts. I did, uh, um, hold on, what's that? Well, that must be the Frozen Wild ones. So we got there, that's the new ones we've got in the, the DLC coming up. Um, now, let's see, I did all the collectibles, as you saw, I did that in the main game, actually, all those, these collectibles, but I did, oh, what's this? That must be the new collectibles coming up in, in the DLC as well, Frozen Wilds collectibles. I did the main collectibles, all these um, data points I did in the main game. Audio data points, the hologram data points, um, text data points, um, world data points, all those. Remember, there was a whole load of them missing here. Did all them. Um, text data points, I think that had been done. Scanned glyphs, did all that. And. Uh, and there's the Frozen Well ones already. See, it's, uh, it's done. So there's what, world ones, there's quest ones, and there's hologram. So yeah, it's got all that sort of... <laughs> so it's, it's kind of laid things out on the... As soon as you I say... When I finished it, say, I played the, the last level again once I did all this collectibles and all these data points for the main game. I did the... Say, I went, went on. So it could record everything I'd done, you know, I had to play the, the game, I had to play the last level again. Um, so, um, yeah, I've done that again and, you know, it was a lot easier the second time around because, um, see, there's game completion, 100%. As you can see, everything kind of done fully, everything, all those numbers is the maximum numbers you can get in the game. Um, so yeah, I even went, you know, as I say, I hated, you know, I've mentioned, I mentioned it several times that I hated those uh, trials, but I did the trials, you know, to get 100% you have to complete the trials, so uh, did them, it was horrible, but uh, you know, got through it. Um, um, but now you see, I say, it kind of, I have to come down this hill here. When it finished the game and it's completed for the second time, you kind of walk down this hill here to here, which is the entrance to uh, Meridian. Ah, um, and I say I'd, I've saved it and then downloaded my DLC, Frozen Wild DLC, and here, well, we, here we am, you know, here we are. Um, about to start it. Now, looking at the map, Location, well, it, it fairly, I think it's fairly evident where where it is. <laughs> this this bit up here, this sort of what looks like a, a profile of a woman's head, an old woman's head. <laughs> See, there's a nose, there's a chin and mouth, a forehead, and you know, what's the back of it? She looks a bit like the the Wicked Witch of the East or the West in Wizard of Oz, very similar to the you know her profile. <laughs> Um, yeah, up there, no doubt. Tall neck, we've got one tall neck. 
to, to do, at least. Um, there you go, it's fairly evident where it is, this DLC. I thought it'd be in the menu, I thought you'd have to click in the menu, you know? And it'd just take you to this, this game, you know? But uh, it's in the main game of the game. The main map. Just a sort of another segment of it. Which, as you can see, it's not... I wouldn't say it's that large a map, but, you know, it's sort of the same sort of size as maybe that area there. Not terribly large. We'll see. And also I noticed a new quest has appeared here. So, in fact, there's another one there. In data, or is that data? Or yeah. So there's people that speak to it in data or in uh, this place here. So they'll, no doubt, probably, I don't know. Maybe direct me there or something, I don't know what's going to go on there, but uh, yeah, let us start. We are on our way to the beginning of Frozen Wilds. That's the looming shadow, it always takes you back to, say when you finish the game, it kind of takes you back to the level before, the last level. So, um, let's see, that's the looming shadow there and all that sort of thing. Uh, so... Yeah, let's uh, get on our way with the Frozen Wilds. We're letting Osaram decide what to do with him. Oh, by the way, because uh, of the 100% completion, I did that armory quest. You know, the, the, the long-standing. I love this bit. Um, what uh, the sort of armory thing? You know, where you have to pick up a a suit, and that there is a suit I'm wearing now, and it is a whew, it's one heck of a suit makes things a lot easier, it recharges its health, you know, it kind of, when you get hit, it kind of goes down, but then it recharges, so, you know, kind of recharges after about five, six seconds, so yeah, you know, you're kind of, you don't have to, you know, if you kind of do your sums, do your sums right, you can, uh, you know, you don't lose any health. Um, Pretty good. So on our way we go yep, down this road. I made four seasons for this, and I'm denied hey, by the new doomsaying. Talking to himself. <laughs> okay. What's the problem? Betrayal. By my own blood! I was meant to go on a machine hunting expedition to the Banuk Wilds. With real hunters! Then the rumors began. New machines and evil miasma, many dead Banuk, and so on and so forth. So my father won't allow me to go. Says there's too much danger for a noble scion. Do you always do what your father tells you? Uh, yes. Of course. Okay. Have you ever actually hunted machines? I've had our bearers carry a lance horn for me to shoot at. Um. Its movement was fearfully realistic. What kind of new machines? That's exactly it. My father doesn't even know. He only heard whispers in the sun court. And the evil miasma? Who knows what those tent-dwelling savages consider evil? Or a miasma? I just want to hunt! Honestly, why even give me a sword for my 16th year? What's a sword for, if not for brandishing? Uh. Hunting in the Banuk Wilds. Do you mean Banur? Oh, no. <laughs> That's so far from the sun's light. The expedition would be swallowed up. It's a place they call the Cut. Something of a no-man's land from, uh, the, you know. The war? But now it makes for excellent hunting. There's a pass through the northeastern mountains. I guess I'll have to look into these rumors myself. It's beyond the Grave Horde, past the Northeastern Mountains. You can't mean to go alone to that sun-forsaken place. I suppose outlanders can do whatever they please. By the sun, if only I wasn't born noble! Yeah, sounds tough. Hmm. Into the frozen wilds. Okay, there we go. New quest. 
Aloy travels north to the Banuk Wilds, Banuk lands known as the Cut. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the <laughs> quest that really has been played twice, in fact, so we won't be doing that. Uh, Ah. Ah. It's not marked anymore. Is it? Detour. Ah. It's kind of scrubbed away the other one. It must have been just another guy you had to talk to at a choice. Or talking to either that guy I've just spoken to or someone in Detour, I guess. Hmm, okay. So up we go to the cut. Call it. Dee 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 dee, there you go. Into the frozen wells. Alright, uh, up to here again. Yeah, I've been here a few times <laughs> on the way to. Float the grave horde, it's just past the grave horde. What was this? You. Oh no! I forgot about my travel. Um, I actually sold my. I did a silly thing and sold my fast travel, thinking I wouldn't be coming back to this game, you know, with this map of the game. Uh, oh no, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go and buy some fast travel. Uh. Now hold on, you need fox skin or something for the the um Um Have I got fox skin by any chance? Probably not. Right, I know where foxes are, so um I wanna get that um Try and find a place where there's lots of foxes, which is in the woods, I guess, so... Uh, oh, I can't go there, I've got to go there by foot, of course, so... Oh, bummer. It's a crime. I should report it to the sun court. Gonna have to walk it. To get to a fast travel. Get to a trader and just use a yeah. I'll just, I'll just get to a trader first and uh, get into this game as quick as possible. I've probably dilly dallied too much at the moment, so um, I'll just get a trader and hopefully he's got a fast travel pack and that gets me, you know, gets me into the place of it and Wonderful. I'll buy. I'll, I'll hopefully I'll get some foxes that I can get in this. Oh, actually, I don't know. Don't mind the work. Frozen Wild might not have any foxes because it's going to be in the frozen wilds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not sure if we'll have foxes. Um. Right. What can I sell? Fellow back cart. Crystal breeding. Yeah, I could probably sell that as well. I don't need that. Uh, luminous breeding. Don't need that. Uh, I had to get that again. I needed it for something. I can't remember, so keep that. Uh, grazer heart. Seen core small. Yeah, need that. Melbourne's quite handy. Um, desert lamp, desert glass is kind of handy as well. Uh, pretty down in the blaze, because I used a lot of it in the last level. Um, on the last level, even though it was easy with a suit, it was still kind of tough. Um, Uh, I, yeah, 
as you can see, I've not got a lot of Ridgewood. I, I kind of dropped it. I realised you could actually drop it, even throughout the whole game. I didn't actually realise that triangle. If you pulled, held on to triangle, you could drop it. <laughs> um, but I, I suppose I, maybe I didn't want to drop it. But I think during the sort of last segment, I kind of was times I really wanted to drop it, you know? I just had too much. So, yeah. Um, bony meat. Mm, don't know. I think I'd maybe get rid of that sparker there. Um, and let's buy some. Any treasure boxes? Um, no. Hold on. Treasure boxes. Free sample box. I uh, can't buy that. Um. Blaze. I need to buy some blaze. I've got to watch my money here. It's not terribly high. Uh, uh, outfits. Um, resources. Yeah, I'm just I need to get a fast pack, travel pack is what I need. Damn, he hasn't got any fast packs, fast travel packs. He just got the. F he has, right. That'll do. Two. Okay. Let's get up to this place then. Do 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 do. I might not have to fast travel because it's not a massive bi big map. It's only the size of maybe, you know, this area and that area just above it. So it's not. I could walk it, you know. Um, might not need fast travel. Uh, you know, let's go. Here. Memory serves me well. say that 100% completion I was talking about um, and I've done everything, literally everything because uh, I've got a platinum achievement, you know, the first ever platinum achievement I've ever had for any game I've played, 100% um, completion and all the achievements, you can say just every achievement in the game I got, um, I got a platinum, platinum award which is the first ever. Um, what's up here? I think I'd get everything, you know. Usually when I get 
This beneath territory just above. You're going to get achievements, you know, and I've done 100% completion games before. There's usually been loads and loads of achievements to go in the game, you know. Achievement, you know, loads of achievements left, but for this one, you know, just that, what I did. Um, just the sort of ones that were kind of, you know, drawn out in the game. That you could do. So I guess I've got some climbing to do. <laughs> hmm. So we're into the new, yeah, there we go. Not quite into new territory yet. <laughs> no, just a dead end. Yep, more climbing. What's this? Needle that blaze, especially right up here. What are you doing, Eloy? Uh -oh. This path leads to the <laughs> cut. Uh, I have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. Yeah, I know a bit more about thinking. you as well. The nuke shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. <laughs> but as usual, you do as you wish. Mm, touchy. I don't, like, I'm surprised we've got him because, uh, you know, as I say, the uh, the credits when, I, when, I, when the game recording ended, you know, the credits were rolling of the final the game, you know, the main game, and uh, it showed a cutscene <laughs> featuring him and his and his past, shall we say. Um, Uh, and we now know a bit more about him, that's for sure. And it's not very good. Um, not a guy to be trusted, that's for sure. I mean, this is, this is what she knows, you know. <laughs> well, she knows it, I, don't, I suppose. Never mind the sort of last cutscene in the game after the credits rolled. Um, I know certainly a bit more after that cutscene. Then save these for the trail. Kind of, we know a bit more about this guy, that's for sure. And uh, well, it's not good. <laughs> Without any spoilers, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who's just watching this and hasn't played the game, you know. But, uh, yeah, a guy not to be trusted. No space. Right. Here we are then. About to enter the new world. Oh, the new predator. The new predator? What the hell is it? Uh, 
demonic machine. Ah, <laughs> a demonic machine. Isn't it just the same as a corrupted one? A corrupted... Looks like a corrupted strider. Hmm. Hold on, I'm not on the... Get the right thing we quest. It's not, um, still putting the looming shadow in here for some reason. Get that in. Right. Uh, I don't know why it says machine. Right, I've got my. Very cold. Oh my god. Let's see if I can get this on. charge and stuff. Better watch I don't get attacked too much though. Let me charge. Uh, yeah, health doesn't go down. This suit on you can just sort of do your, you know, heavy uh, heavy strike, which is the R2 button. Just keep pressing that, and you can. I didn't actually realise it in the main game, but R2 is heavy strike, and you can sort of do heavier, heavier attacks than just that, you know. R1 is your light strike. R2 is your heavier one. So there you go, that's that's that one. First first uh, monster killed in this DLC. First new one. Uh, I'm in this new area yet. Yeah, that kinda entering now I suppose. Still have to top yard because there's a line in the blue bar that actually goes down, so you still have to be Weary of your health a wee bit, you know. It does run out a bit. Uh, right. Up here. Uh, don't see anything. Ledges there, I think so. Handholds. Got too much already. All right. Doesn't go left to right, I'm stuck. Well, it does right. It's kind of stuck there a wee bit. Anything down here? Hmm. Not a 
guess that's not the way to go. Let's Uh, da, 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 right. Just follow the those lights. Gone into the head yet? <laughs> That's so cool. The sort of uh, head. It's going to take me ages to get up there. Still in the neck of the, uh, the head profile of this map. Ha! You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Is this? Can they get up there? Vanuk. Hmm. Vanuk guard. Uh, Times like these must not forget the can't get importance up. of ceremony. Can't get up. Oh well. Save. Oh, it's not saving. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Okay. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. Is that so? These are dangerous lands, Outlander. Deadly, even. Okay. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? Okay, we've got a new new right, investigate the source of the uh, smoke. So we're officially I think into the, the map now. Chieftain has led our best to the deaths. Where should we find hope now? Yeah, uh, the village. <laughs> right, is there a safe Pastor plane here? Rea, should return to us. Is there a say. traitor? And yet here we are, waiting. Uh, is that fire? No. Uh, This one? Oh, come on, I'm not being able to save. Um, okay, there's one further up. What's this place? Yeah, okay. So go north here. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. No. Which down here? Are we going this way? I don't know. No, that's not it. It's down here. Ah, fire at last. <laughs> right. Uh, I want a trader though. Is it a. Nah, no trader. It's bummer Roonies, man. Uh I'll stop ahead here. Ray has been gone a long time. But she will get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. 
Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Oritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Hmm. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum, and they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look. I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. 
But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a wary chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Araya came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Araya's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Hmm. Any questions there? What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as melon. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Werrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. Hmm. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk can tell me more about the rain. Hey. So that's the first question. The shaman's path. We'll both survive another day. Okay. Find Nabtuk and go talk to. Okay. Um. 
Let's see. Do do do. -do. Now what's going on there? There's a trader appeared now in a side quest. Um, another trader over there. A side quest up there. Um, find now to talk to our attack. Rumors of Shaman's Path. That's a side quest. Yeah. Right. Um, the rumors of demons and spirits abound in the Banuk territory of the Cut. To learn more, Aloy must find someone who can separate fat from fabrication. Eh. Uh, okay. It's just like we've got to do a side quest to, to get on to the next main quest. No main quest, so hmm, just that <laughs> that Looming Shadow quest, which is the main game. So, uh, hmm, okay, I've got to do a side quest to get the next main quest. But I'll open up this side quest here and do a bit of trading as well. Uh, Is a side quest over here. The cut has no patience for arrogant hunters. Deep down, silence from those in tall neck is perhaps the most distinctive land. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes, a sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep in. What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place... And a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy or remembering? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Good news is that bandits tend to live Gee, it waterlogged. Hmm. Right, let's get trading. What's this? Banuk Champion Bow. Banuk Power Shot Bow. Banuk Striker Bow. Hmm, some new weapons. Um, Banuk Werak Runner. This is outfits. Oh boy, I've got some outfits as well. Banuk Ice Hunter Master. Karja Blazing Master. Nora Seven Hunter Master. Hmm. Can't afford any of them though. <laughs> Uh, one, well, I need one something or other, I don't know what that is. Um, blue Gleam, what the hell's Blue Gleam? Never heard picked that up before. You only need Blue Gleam. 
Ja. Uh, that's what that looked like that. Hmm, that's weird. Looks like a bit of a <laughs> bit of a burglar there with a sort of a thing over her mouth. Uh, North Saint Hunter Master, that's eighteen sixteen, so that's the most expensive one, so you'd think that is most powerful, but it wasn't really in the main game and the most powerful wasn't really the the most expensive one. Um, blue gleam, but that's a new thing there. A new resource, blue gleam. Desert glass, melt shards, and slag shine glass. I'm glad I kept that. The glasses. Uh, I don't think I'll be buying anything. You don't want to buy anything when you've got this uh, weaver's thing, weaver suit I've got on. Because you've got virtually invincibility with this thing that's too much I've got. You know? I don't think they can be better. Right, let's sell. Um I don't think I'll get rid of my fatty meats. I'm not not sure I'll need fatty meats in this. But let's sell those plants. Bony meat, not sure I'll need that either. Need to. Where's. What do you need for a. Oh, no. You can't get a golden one. I'm fast. No, I need uh, more. Ah, oh, yeah, I've just. Hold on. Can, can I not buy back? Right. Buy back the. Um, what is it just. What? It's not there. Um. For some reason, I can't buy back rich meat. It's not in our buyback options. Um. Damn. Okay. I'm kind of blue colored the traders in this one. Blue. Everything's going to be blue because it's, well. See, it's a blue tonic. Was that a blue tonic in the first one when I hadn't done it? I don't know. Maybe it was. Uh, I think it was actually. Um, well that one's white. Ah, uh, let's go up to this trader. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small, it was she who led us through the frozen wastes. We also remember. Our yeah, struggles do. don't concern you, Outlander. Oh, uh. Chill almost feels like sunburn. Song echoes, friend. Uh. Where's this traitor guy? Apparently, right beside me. It must be up there. We I think it's up there. Can you get there? Onto the new car, yeah, I can. Can uh, Higher. 
Come on. Do it. got up here it's a useful perspective how fleeting we are when the world is so wide from up here you can see how the light paints across the land ever changing that's a lesson all our marks will pass that outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter haven't met many artists have you song's edge needs new stories i scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew but a new start needs new colors fresh pigments like none have seen. Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but... Never really moving. Right. Uh, collectible pigment reward box. That's a tre that's a treasure box. Is what they need though. Um, pigment dark salt, pigment medium, and light salt. Hmm. Medium oxide. Light crystal, hmm, Ma map, animal figurines, well this must be the collectibles. Um, pigments and blue gleam, there's that blue gleam we saw earlier on, and uh, one of the things you needed for, well a resource I guess, it was a resource. Um, uh, Greens, okay. And oh, now I need badger bone. Well, that's a new, a new animal. Uh, goat bone and badger bone. Okay, bo badger and goat bones needed for the maps. Well, it's easier to get than skin. You do actually. I've, I realised when I was playing it after the completion of the game. You know, you can actually. Uh, get skin from animals but you have to do them like five times or something um, these define. pigments you want where should I look for them salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs okay the Banuk rock paintings are impressive but um, you want to know what they mean that's not the right question, but I'll answer anyway. Some are called to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others like mine are called to the tribe. You could say inspiration or prophecy. And sometimes even men listen if the painting is loud enough. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward. But I'd reward you as well. Hmm. Okay, mate. You can actually go higher, can you? Won't get anywhere this way. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um. Gotta get down to that side quest there. Open that up. Another one of these uh, old lapels. Um, to study the frozen tall neck. Another lapel down from here. Uh, okay. Go down there. 